Oh my god! We spawned in the shores of plenty! Never has this been done before in the history of Sea of Thieves! Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So, Tall Tales were a new feature added to the game in the first anniversary update, and although they're a fantastic dive into the lore and a technical marvel, they're also wrong. Let me explain. You see, Tall Tales throw you on this fantastic adventure across the Sea of Thieves. They are essentially a linear storyline that never really changes that much each time you play them, apart from a few different island locations, and they always start and end the same way. You open your Tall Tale tab, look where you have to go, pick up the book, and away you go. I love the story aspect that Tall Tales bring to the game, and I love the adventure that takes place within them, but one thing that has always bothered me about them is they are vastly different to the open world world and organic nature of the game. One of the best things about Sea of Thieves is its organic feeling when it comes to adventure. You throw down a quest, and on your travels you see something that sparks your interest. A fort, some loot, a bottle quest, okay, maybe not a bottle quest, or an enemy vessel. These distractions then send you on a completely new adventure compared to the one that you set out to do. And this is what gives the game its adventurous feeling. With Tall Tales, however, the path is set, the story is set, and the distractions don't concern you as much, because you are invested in the storyline, and you don't want to go complete that fort or take down that ghost ship mid-story as it would ruin the pace and the immersion of the storyline you are taking part in. So Tall Tales essentially make you forget about the game itself. You are 100% invested in the storyline, and the world around you is blotted out, essentially giving you tunnel vision to your next destination. Another problem with Tall Tales is their difficulty level, and the way they are implemented into the game. Now, for seasoned veterans like myself and anyone else watching, the clues within Tall Tales are somewhat simplistic, and you have a good idea of where you're supposed to be going. But for a fresh-faced maiden voyager, some of these clues are a real head-scratcher, and often ends up with them never completing it or quitting in frustration. Not to mention the fact that the game doesn't do a great job of letting people know that a storyline is a thing in this game. The amount of times I've been running a tall tale whilst live streaming, and a large majority of people have no clue they exist. And I'm betting there is a few people watching this video right now that had no idea they exist. This, once again, boils down to the nature they are implemented, and how it retracts from the organic nature of the game. Unless you happen to see that loading screen that tells you about them, or happen to cruise to the correct tab within the game, and let's be honest, the UI could seriously use some work in this aspect right now, you would have have no idea they existed. I think one of the main reasons we haven't seen much more tall tale progression as of late is because of this reason. Oh, and the fact that the world's currently in a pandemic. There is, uh, there is that, of, of course. Tall Tales aren't something nearly as simple as a new world event, or a new build rat adventure. They're a very taxing game mode that requires skill sets from the entire team. New assets, new scripts, new mechanics, new music, new voice actors, and above all else, advanced communication between team members. Something that is almost impossible when everyone is working remotely from home but also rather pointless to proceed with when the majority of the player base simply do not take part. And considering Tall Tales are some of the hardest and most time-consuming mechanics that the dev team add, wouldn't you too be a little bit put off making new ones if the majority of the player base wasn't taking part? I think when future Tall Tales come, I hope we see them added in a different way to their current setup. Rather than having to go to a certain area to start them, I believe the best method would be to have them spawn organically like the rest of the game. As an example, you randomly find a goblet whilst adventuring, and then this goblet sends you on a voyage to a blacksmith, who then sends you on an adventure across the lands to uncover a mystery of some kind. This way, Tall Tales become part of the organic nature of the game, and even those who know nothing about them will begin to take 
part. I also think that future tall tales should add an incentive to keep doing them. The current setup is do them once for some loot and do them three or five times more for even more loot. But once you get all these rewards, there is really no point in doing them again. And it's the hungering deep all over again. Rare, come on. I mean, I love you guys, I really, really do. But it boggles my mind that you invest so much time into these amazing mechanics and then put no thought into the longevity surrounding them. Come on, guys, come on. Tall Tales should not only be a story for you and your crew to take part in, but should also be an optional quest objective. As an example, when doing the Shroud Breaker Tall Tale, when you swim to the magpie's wing, its hold is filled with sellable loot. Or when you defeat Briggsy, she drops a whole load of trinkets or skulls. This would then make Tall Tales a viable questing option. For example, you could throw down a voyage and a Tall Tale, and reap the benefits of both, with the max gold and reputation, and of course, the max fun of your time on the seas. Tall tales are amazing, and I think they should be included in every player's viable questing options, no matter how many times you've done them. I want to hear people say, oh, we need to get Order of Souls reputation. What should we do? Captains? Ghost vessels? Or a tall tale? Basically, what I'm saying is fix hit reg.